Hey, Key. You did get your work done, right? Yeah, some of it. You do know that stuff is important. Yeah, but spending time here is so much more fun. Glad to see you have your priorities in order. Sleep before all else. Well, I can better myself here, too. Show me my biggest fear so I can defeat it. Chris, no! Hello? Too. What the hell was that? It was like me, but it had empty black eyes and it knew every move I was going to make before I could act. Oh. That would be your shadow. My shadow? Yes. The shadow represents everything that you are not, and yet it's still a part of you, and thus knows everything you know. Makes it impossible to defeat directly. But I don't... And tomorrow, we'll be continuing to the next part of our unit on psychoanalysis by studying Carl Jung's psychoanalysis interpretation of archetypes. Mr. Godbout. Yes. What can you tell me about the shadow? Ah, oh, Chris, that is until tomorrow. But I need to know today. I've encountered him in my last lucid dream. Ah, the shadow. The dark side of you that stays locked away in the subconscious. Well, how do I defeat it? There's usually a reason it becomes active, usually some sort of manifestation. It's not uncommon for this to be something that deep down you know you aren't doing right, but chose to consciously ignore. The shadow is probably trying to bring this to attention. How do I get rid of it? Well, address the manifestation. Unfortunately, that's all I know on the topic. You know Clea, right? She's also a lucid dreamer, and I'm sure she knows more on the topic than I do. Thanks. I'm still confused. I don't understand this whole manifestation thing. Well, did the shadow ever say anything to you? Yeah, he said not even running to my dreams can save me from my biggest fear. Well, I think it's safe to say that it manifests itself in some sort of fear. What are you afraid of? You know, I'm not really sure. You're afraid of the real world, aren't you? Reality? I guess. How'd you know? Well, the only thing you can't create or alter in a dream is true reality. Your shadow seems to know that. I get where you're coming from. Nothing can quite compare to the limitless potential of the dreaming mind. It's difficult not to get wrapped up in it and lose sight of what really matters. Same thing happened to me a few years back. And what did you do? Find a passion, a creative outlet. I love photography. Nothing can say something the way a photo can. But what do I do about my dreams? Don't get rid of them. Think of them as your playground, the limitless potential of a dream, and the ultimate creative environment. What's important is that you need to learn how to prioritize. The goal isn't to live out reality in your dreams. It's to live out your dreams in reality. Anyway, I've got a shoot to get to, but best of luck. Thanks.
this out of here. You write that? It's pretty good. Yeah, I did. What's your name anyway? Chris Reeves. You. I guess I won't be spending so much time here then. Perhaps. It's for the better though. Now you can actually get some work done. And what about him? We'll be here to nudge you in the right direction when you need it. Playground, huh?